Uh, I'm Jake Quickenden. I'm doing a little interview and an acoustic session for Swash TV. <laughs> Um, to be honest, I um, I didn't really do anything before I went on the X Factor. I played, I started teaching myself guitar like two years ago, and I was always singing around the house and stuff, annoying my mother and stuff. But like, I, I applied for X Factor every year and never never went for it. And then that year, I just thought, right, you can sing your own songs because I started writing my own music and. I thought I'll go for it and see how I do. And I did a lot better than I thought, so since then, now that's when I'm trying to really push forward with music and make it as much as I can really. Um, X Factor, it was, it was mental to be honest. Um, I went there with no hopes of getting anywhere. Um, I went there with just as a bit of a laugh and with my mates and I thought, see how it goes, I, I, I can sing a little bit and literally I was taken back by like where I got to, I got a free holiday in Dubai, uh, got a bit of a tan and made some good mates and so it was really, it was really good. I um, it opened my eyes to how good a lot of people are there, there's a lot of good musicians out there so it will be hard to make it but I'm going to keep trying anyway now, it's given me, given me like a bit more of a drive to succeed in music I guess. Maybe Um, best place? Probably, pro the biggest crowd obviously, the X Factor audition, that's, that was massive. Um, but at the minute I'm, I'm just doing like local gigs, little bars, little venues. I like doing little, like small bars, getting four, because if I do a big place with only ten people in there, it doesn't look very good. But, um, so at the minute I'm just, I'll take anything I can get, I'll, I'll sing anywhere, I'll do it for free. I'll, I just, I just enjoy doing it and it's getting experience at the end of the day so that's what I need to gain to say I've only really been gigging now six months, seven months properly and I need to just take everything I can so I'm willing to do that. Um, funny moment, a girl chucked some thong at me when I was performing in Scunthorpe and it landed on my guitar and then I couldn't hit the chords so I was like, what do I do? So I've just got this thong on my hand, on the guitar. I just stopped playing my guitar and just sang the whole song without playing my guitar. Got my thong off, put a thong on, and did the rest of the set with the thong on. I hope it actually want her thong from her that day. I didn't smell it all right, so. But um, that was pretty funny. Uh, I always I always try and have a little bit of banter with the crowd and stuff like that, which is which is fun. And people who heckle you, because you're always going to get heckled. Did a gig at Vibe Room and some guy tried to shout something and I shouted something back and can't really repeat what I shouted about but that got a good reaction from the crowd so. but it's funny, it, it, I think a lot of things happen when you're on stage that you kind of forget but at the time they're hilarious but there's that much stuff happening when, you, when you're gigging you kind of forget Just keep grounded and just take every opportunity you can and listen to people um, and take advice well and take neg negative comments well as well if somebody somebody says something don't buy it because I used to do that all the time but I've realised now that it actually does let you improve so and just write your own stuff every day just write new music because I think nowadays people want songwriters as well as people who can sing and play guitar so yeah just just keep going um, artists I'm listening to, uh, I listen to a lot of Plan B, obviously Ed Sheeran, um, Ben Howard, I love Ben Howard, I love the streets still, Macklemore, the guy who done the thrift shop, I bought his album off iTunes, I'm not going to lie, it's the best album I've ever listened to, so I'm listening to it mostly. Um, I'm, I like all kinds of music. Still, my mum used to put Celine Dion on when she was doing the hoovering up and I like that so literally if, if anything's a good music I like it so I, I, I listen to everything but at the minute like acoustic stuff. Hey, none of us are perfect, I can drive you away. You're so um, I'd have to say probably Macklemore at the minute, um, I think definitely him. I'd like to sing with James Arthur. Um, obviously, 
I know him, he's, he's such a nice lad as well, and his voice is just sick, so. Um, Jesse J, Jesse J's fit. Uh, I'm not just thinking who it's fit. Um, to, be, to be honest, I'd, I'd collaborate with anyone, anybody. I think if you get the mix right, it, it sound sound good with anybody, so. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really too fussed. I'd do it with anyone, anyone who's willing to do it with me, I guess. Crushes. Uh, my celebrity crush, main crush, Cheryl Cole, always will be for the rest of my life. Michelle Keegan as well. Um, they're both hot. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, definitely them too. I like that bird who was on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, who came second. Or oh, the blonde girl. Ashley Roberts is there. Yeah, she's hot. Um, yeah, those three at the minute. And how would you sort of like impress them on a date? What would you, where would you take them if you could take them anywhere? I'd probably take them McDonald's or Nando's or something. Like, I don't, <laughs> I'm not the best at impressing people at all. So I'd just be myself and try and have a laugh. And if they didn't like me, then I'd move on to Michelle Keegan. And then if not, Ashley Roberts, I guess. I've got two tracks on iTunes at the minute, uh, one called Mile High and my latest one called Walk Away. Um, I've got stuff on YouTube and you can follow me on Twitter at just at Jay Quickenden. Thank you. Perfect. Brilliant.